Inkscape makes it pretty easy to create simple shapes like circles, squares, stars, and even polygons. In fact, they have special dedicated individual tools for each of those shapes. But what about triangles? If you've ever tried to create triangles in Inkscape, you may have found it a bit perplexing and may even try to create them uh, manually yourself. But there is a way to make simple triangles in Inkscape, which I'll be showing you in this brief tutorial. In fact, we're going to use the stars and polygons tool for that. I'll be showing you how to create a regular triangle, a triangle with rounded corners, a triangle that's rounded in shape, and then a triangle that has sort of like a uh, like indents on each side, which technically probably isn't even a triangle, but I'll show you how to make that regardless. So to do that, we're going to use the stars and polygons tool. And to create a regular triangle, we just set the corners to three. We want rounded set to zero and randomize set to zero. And then we can hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag. And then you'll see we have our triangle. Now, if you want to create the triangle so that it's sitting perfectly on a flat edge like that, you can click and drag the cursor straight up like that. Or if you want to have it go the other way where it's uh, flipped vertically, you just bring the cursor straight down. And bear in mind, we're holding control and shift on the keyboard the whole time we're doing this. So I'll put that back up there like that. And now we have our triangle. Okay. So what if we want to create a triangle with rounded edges like this, like you would see in a, uh, like a play button or something like that, if you were to flip this around a few angles. So uh, what we do is go over here to where it says rounded and just increase that a little bit. And if you notice, as we click that, the shape, the roundedness of the triangle changes. So you can just click that until it reaches a certain shape and size that you like, and then you're all set. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set that back to zero. Uh, what if we want to create triangles with rounded corners like that? Well, to do that, we're going to use the stroke function. So we'll go back to the select tool, and I'm going to give this shape an outline known as a stroke. I'll come over here to the stroke paint tab and I'll click the blue button that, that says flat color or you could just hold shift and click on whichever color you want to give it. I'm just going to give it a red color for now. I'm going to hold shift and click on the color red to give that a red outline. And then I'll come over here to the stroke style tab and I'm going to change the width of that stroke to say maybe 50. And then what I'll do now is where it says join, I'll make that rounded. And that right there gives us a triangle with rounded corners. I'll make the cap rounded as well. And if you want this to be even more rounded, you can control the size or the degree at, with, at which how rounded this corner is by changing the size of the stroke. So if I change this to maybe, a, let's say a five point stroke, let me make that the same color that the fill is. You can see it looks like it has sharp corners, but if you zoom in, it has ever so slightly rounded corners right there. I'm just gonna put that back up to uh, maybe 75 just so you can see it better. And once we've set it to a, uh, a roundedness that we like, we can go to path, stroke to path. And what that does is it turns the actual outline itself into the object and gets rid of the fill. And what we can do now, if we wanna fill that in, is just go to path, break apart, and it's gonna break that up into two separate images. And we can just take this center image right here and just get rid of that. And there we have our triangle with rounded corners. And finally, to create our triangle with indented sides like that, I'll go back to the stars and polygons tool. Only this time, instead of using the polygons function, I'm gonna use the star function here. And then I'll just hold control and shift and click and drag to create another triangle like that. I'm gonna get rid of that outline by holding shift and clicking the X. And since we're using the star function instead of the polygon function, we're gonna get this node right here that we can click and drag and pull in like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold control to lock it onto the vertical axis and bring it in a little bit. You could bring it in about that much, or you could even bring it out if you'd like as well. And there we have our triangle. So that's how you can create very simple and easy triangles using Inkscape. There's one more way I wanna show you. Personally, I don't like this way. I like to just use the polygon tool. You can go to extensions, and I believe it's render and triangle, and you can render a triangle right from there. I could hit live preview, see what that looks like. And you could render a triangle right from there. But personally, I think you get more control over the outcome of what you create using this, the, uh, the stars and polygons tool. So that's how you can create that in Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.